для вас короткі уроки. Зараз ми посміхаємось, а це означає, що зараз у нас буде англійська мова для 9 класу, і в нас Корольова Олена Станіславівна. Вітаємо вас, ми вже скучили за вашими уроками. Кажіть, що ви сьогодні підготували. Hello, Eugenia. How are you today? So-so. Окей, я сподіваю, що я зроблю краще. So today we'll talk about the environment and environmental protection because it's duty of everybody. I have the school bracelet which says um, climate action. I brought it from Cyprus. So I want to give you a present today. So you can choose a bracelet, gender equality, quality education or clean energy. Which one would you like? Red. The red one. Yes, so this is my present for you, for you to remember that you have to be really responsible. Thank you very much. Let's go. <laughs> so environmental protection is everyone's duty. And why? Let's watch the video. You can see the uh, web link that is called the trashed film. And let's write down keywords and phrases. So right now, I want you to open your exercise books, your notebooks, grab a pen, grab a pencil. Let's watch this video together. You can scan the QR code as usual and write down any keywords and phrases that you come across. So let's go to this website. So we have an actor, Jeremy Irons, who will tell us. Okay, yes, that was quite, quite disturbing because that's what we did to our planet. So hopefully by now you wrote down some keywords and expressions. So my keywords and expressions were, first of all, consumption, which is spożywanie in Ukrainian, bury, which is hovate, burn, spalovate, trash, that is smitya, produce, vyrobljate, and throw, vykidate. Please check your uh, keywords in your checklist. Did you write the same words as I did? Out of sight, out of mind. It's like a very nice proverb. Head is uche, is serce head. Break down, rozlahatisya, chemicals, chimikate, and diseases, chvoroby. So this is like, what can we do about it? Because our nature is so covered with trash. So yes, we have an answer to that. We can reduce, we can reuse, and we can recycle. So first step is reduce. What can be reduced? Let's have a look. This is how my garbage bin looks like. So you have to know your garbage. Take a look inside your basket, your bin, where you throw your garbage and analyze what kind of garbage you throw away. Then next step, what can be reduced? First of all, water bottles. I don't buy water in disposable water bottles. I try to carry my water bottle with me whenever I want to drink some water because I say no to plastic. Then you can reuse waste when you go to a coffee shop to buy yourself a coffee. Bring your own cup and that's in, uh, that way you can reduce the waste. 
Then, what else can we reduce? You can only buy what you need. So make a shopping list. Uh, when you go shopping, you can see those cool vegetables and berries, and they look super excited because they have those little shopping lists. And you can say no to plastic bags. I really like those eco-friendly bags, which I, when I travel, I bring them from different countries. For example, this shopping bag, I brought it from Poland for my husband. And that shopping bag I brought from Cyprus is the same as my bracelet. So it's like 20, 30 is now, and I use them all the time. That's why they don't look very nice, because I actually use them. And step two is reuse. So where, what you can reuse, it's like you can see some cool examples, you can plant some flowers. Actually, today I brought a little can. It was like canned food for my cat. So my daughter made a beautiful present for me for the 8th of March. So you can see that an ordinary can can be a real cool present. So hello, Yarina, thanks for that present. And hello to Olga Nikolaevna, who taught you how to do that. So yes, next step. What can we do? Well, this is like a common jar. This is my house, and when I use some produce, I try to buy everything in glass, if possible. And then I wash those jars, those glass jars, and I reuse them. So what else can be reduced and reused? You can see some examples. There are lots of DIYs. You can find them on the internet. And you can make some really cool things, like pencil cases, or like even given presents with the help of them. And finally, recycle. What does it mean? What can be recycled? So that's how my family does it. We gather all the potato peels, banana peels, like anything organic. Then we put it into a basket. The next step is for me. I dig a hole in my garden. I put that organic food waste there. And then I cover it with soil. So we basically compost the organic waste. And what can be recycled? So, recycle. You can recycle glass, you can recycle metal and cans, and plastics which have special labels on them from 1 to 7. You can recycle cardboards and cartons, and papers and newspapers. Actually, when I use a sheet of paper, I try, like you see, I had like some copies and print out, and then I use the second side of the sheet of paper as well, because I try to be really eco-friendly. So actually, I have some notes on those sheets of paper right now. And what goes to trash? Put non-recyclables in your trash or compost. So I basically showed you an example with my compost pit. So film, plastic, plastic wrap, bags, bubble wrap, etc. Yard clippings, so when you go gardening. So dirty diapers or cat litter, some foam and food if no composting. And what we've learned today. So hopefully today you had a look at a new vocabulary which I presented to you with the help of the film Trashed. What you can do to save the environment. So these are the three R's. So this is, first of all, it's reduce, then it's reuse, and the third one is recycle. So these are the three R's. And how to be more eco-friendly and talk about it in English. Hopefully that was uh, good enough for you. So you have a home task to do. I would like you to go to Karpuk textbook, like that one that I have here. I would want you to go to page 165, and it's exercise 8b. So you have to make a list of practical ways to help our planet. So if you don't have Karpuk textbook, it's okay. You can still do this exercise and hand it to your English language teacher so that they can check it up for you. So one more time, your home assignment is Karpuk textbook, page 165, exercise 8b. Make a list of practical ways to help our planet. And where can you learn more? Of course, you can go to British Council website, Learn in English. You can just now scan the QR code and you can go to the study break, YouTubers, and you can watch a cool YouTuber telling us about cutting down the waste. So, Eugenia, that is all for today. <laughs> I hope that was useful. I remind you that we are the ninth grade, and that was English from Olena Karalova from school number 47. Пані Олено за знову ж таки цікавий урок, як завжди динамічно, цікаво і швидко.